Hi, this is Ron from pocculture.com. Domi Lindsay, how are you? Good, how are you? Great, so excited to speak with you. Um, really love what we've gotten to see um, with the film so far. Domi, if I could start with you, there's been a lot of talk about how the film is an East meets West kind of blend of animation style and I think story as well. Um, what were some of your inspirations, um, both in anime and Western animation, that you took and put into this film? Oh, yeah. Uh, so many. I mean, I grew up on a steady diet of anime and manga in middle school. I was also the vice president of the anime club in high school. That's how cool I was. Uh, and I, and for this movie, we were really inspired by um, like the anime from the 90s, uh, like uh, Ran My Half like uh, Sailor Moon. Um, I was also a huge fan of Fruits Basket. And, and you can see that in everything from like the color palette, you know, we're really inspired by those pastel-y, uh, fresh, uh, youthful um, colors of anime of that era. Uh, we really wanted the world to kind of re reflect our protagonist, Mei Li, who is this like bubbly, confident, dorky 13 year old Asian girl uh and uh we were also just inspired by like anime in in like the expressions and and how uh yeah expressive and push the the facial features get when characters feel and emotions like really really intensely so we see that like when May sees her crush and she goes crazy like moon eyes and sparkles and galaxies are in her eyes or when she uh is mortified we really like push like the horror on her face and the lighting just to make it seem like we as the audience are feeling exactly what what May's feeling. I love that. And May must also clearly be the VP of her own school's anime club. Right? Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. sure. <laughs> She would be president. I, I was too like not confident to take up the president mantle. So I was like, I'll be vice president. And then I gave the, yeah, I'll, I'll my <laughs> president instead. <laughs> That's great. And I really feel like that anime inspiration comes through. Um, Lindsay, to you, you've talked about how you hope that even though this is a, a specific story about like a Chinese girl in Toronto, that you really feel it's a universal story that people of all kinds can connect with. How does the film strike that balance between being culturally authentic, but also, you know, universal to anybody? Yeah, I think a lot of the, the kind of um, the, the details and the nuances and the characters um, that Domi's put in this film are obviously specific to a time and a place and a, in a culture, but the but the emotions and the experiences that these characters are going through, and the you know the the kind of um, the growth and the ups and downs and the evolution, like those are so universal. I think um, if nothing else, like as much as we all try to avoid remembering that period in our lives, um, it is so kind of imprinted on our on our to our cores um, universally. Like everybody has stories from being you know in middle school or in their tween ages that are feel like as real all those emotions you felt like the embarrassment or like the horror or whatever or the love the lust or the love are so kind of real and visceral and easy to tap into and certainly that's what we've experienced on the crew of the film as they've all kind of gone through and told stories from that time that I do think it's going to be universal. I think people are like, it's so easy to tap into those, those moments and those emotions um, and those memories um, that I think everybody's going to feel right. Like they're brought right back to that moment, those periods. So I think it's, I think it is universal in all of those, in all of those ways. I definitely agree with you. And, and those moments do stay with us. Um, so, so Domi, speaking of like horror moments from our youth, you talked about how you learned a lot about your relationship with your mom through this process. And you shared previously about how she was hiding behind a tree yeah. during one of your first days of school. I think it's amazing. Um, could you talk a little bit more about um, what you did kind of realize about your relationship with her and just growing up, um, you know, with that East and West tension, um, being someone, you know, part of the Asian diaspora? Yeah, I think one of the biggest things I realized making it was, uh, there is uh, that it's 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 normal for the relationship to have a lot of ups and downs. You know, I, I always kind of envied, I don't know, like movies that showed like a picture perfect relationship between like the parent and the kid 
and like they become best friends when they're you know when the kid's an adult and I'm like oh am I doing something wrong but I think you know making this movie and and like uh you know following May through her journey of accepting and embracing all the messiness in life and all the changes in in her life has really made me <laughs> embrace that too and you know realize that especially for like Asian kids and their parents uh, it's, it's, it's always going to have its ups and downs and, and there always is going to be this p- push and pull and this tension. And you're always going to sometimes feel like, oh man, am I a bad kid? <laughs> and that, that guilt's going to come in and then it's going to leave. And it's just, it's a constantly moving thing that'll never go away. Even when you're a 30 year old adult. Yeah. <laughs> that's absolutely right okay. and, I, and yeah it's okay I feel like you started telling that story with Bao which I don't know if you could say I have a Bao phone cover oh, right yeah. <laughs> and those stories really resonate at, um, like Lindsay said universally um, but particularly with like Asian kids dealing with that yeah. east-west tension um, yep. so Lindsay you talked about how you have teams and so you represented kind of the the mom uh, perspective in, uh, yes. with this production um, which I appreciate as a parent um, what should viewers know about um, May's parents to help us better understand their characters? I think that they, <laughs> I would say this to Joey all the time during the, I'm like, like, just so you know, like the parents don't know, we don't know what we're doing. <laughs> I mean, we're all trying our best. Um, you know, as I, I think I said that both in like reaction to the, to the mess that was usually happening behind me in our Zoom meetings with three teenagers, but also in reaction to kind of as we were watching the scenes of the film go and making sure that at least to some degree, the mom's, uh, you know, voice was represented (laughs) in those scenes. And I think, um, you know, for me, it was just always knowing and I think, you know, Domi and Julia did a great job of making sure and and Sandra and her performance, making sure that we always knew that this was coming all of this, all of the emotions, the crazy emotions, the anger, the frustration, the disappointment were all coming from a place of love, like, and of a desire to not only protect your kids, but also to keep them. I mean, you know, as much as we know they need to grow up and forge their own path, there is still this kind of sadness that comes with you know with the with puberty in the sense that you just know that it's the first it's often the first time that you have a different agenda or a different perspective or a different um kind of uh, motivation than your kids usually you're kind of you're in sync up until that point so I do think that there's a sadness to it from a parent's perspective (laughs) and trying to kind of be real to that too just that and I love that we added scenes in there where you just see her kind of later in the film kind of having these moments of missing having her daughter by her side all the time um so yeah I think it I think the film really does a nice job of making sure that that shines through that there's a there's a lot of love behind all of those all of that tension I definitely agree well thank you both so much I think it's such an important and and fun film I look forward for everyone seeing it I'm going to go hug my daughter now after this conversation congratulations to you both thanks yeah.